Welcome back to Tech Nuggets. This is a brand new video series on user interfaces. In this series, I'll be covering some of the popular CSS libraries such as Tailwind CSS and Bootstrap, and also some of the popular front end MVC libraries such as Angular. Let's kickstart this series with Tailwind CSS videos. Tailwind CSS videos itself will be a mini series that is set of short videos on a specific topic. Okay, before we get into this video, let me do a quick channel analytics. There is a lot more views are happening on this channel. However, there is a small percentage of viewers are subscribed. So, if you have not subscribed yet, Please scroll down and hit the subscribe button now and follow me on Twitter. Okay, let's get started. What we'll cover in this video? Introduction and installation. Let me do a quick introduction. What is Tailwind CSS? A utility first CSS framework packed with tons of low level utility classes to build your own custom components meaning you will be provided with a bare minimum basic component and up to you how do you want to add styles around it not like a framework like such as bootstrap with a prefabricated ready-made component directly to use with use with and it gives a lot more freedom and flexibility to create your own custom UI look and feel so this is more important if you have used pre-made component uh, most of the site will look alike it was almost looks similar and uh, this uh, Tailwind CSS gives you freedom to create your unique UI um, look and feel okay and also it helps you to reduce maintenance of traditional CSS semantic classes. Okay, let's see what are types of insulate. What are the types of insulation we have it for Tailwind CSS? One is Tailwind CLI, the simplest and fastest way to get up to running with Tailwind CSS from scratch is with the Tailwind CLI tool. So in this video, I'm going to cover uh, the option one that is Tailwind CLI. What other options than you have using post CSS? That's uh, installing Tailwind CSS as a post CSS plugin. is the most seamless way to integrate with the uh, build tools like Webpack, Rollup, White and Parcel. Then also uh, you have a framework guides for example, um, Tailwind is seamlessly integrated with a uh, lot of so popular frameworks such as Angular, React.js, many many more popular environments. So you can use the guides to integrate. And the last one, not the least, Play CDN. You can use a CDN to try Tailwind on the browser without a build setup. The Play CDN is designed for development purpose only and it is not the best choice for production. Okay, let's get started with Elvin CLI installation. Elvin CLI installation. This requires Node.js setup, first of all. Okay, and uh, there are five steps to do. One is uh, install Elvin CSS then you need to configure the template path then add tailwind directives to your css then start the tailwind cli build process then start using tailwind in your html for more information please refer tailwindcss.com slash docs installation let's get started okay as a first step you need a new project folder I created under Node.js projects. You can create anywhere you want. I named it with Tailwind CSS PRJ. 
branch okay then i associated with um, vs code then let's let's run the commands now the first thing npm install minus d tailwind css okay so make sure you put tailwind css not tailwind because there is a two different things then it will start installing tailwind css it will take couple of um, seconds sometimes it may be a minute depends on your internet speed the step one which we are doing so your modules are getting built okay so it's done the next thing uh, if you have noticed there's a package is created and uh, let's instantiate this one okay for that we use a command npx tailwind uses init npx is a node package execution command okay so it's created a tailwind config.jss sorry js in this you need to add um, intent that is your source you want to indicate where is your source files okay so we'll go ahead and uh, create dot src so in order to do that you need to create a new folder called src src so this is where all of my source will go and that's what I mentioned here okay now uh, inside uh, src let's add a new input css that's where we are going to add our um, directives okay let's create a new file okay so i think uh, we have created a file i mean i have created a file instead of folder let's delete this let's create a folder new folder src under src you create a new file called input css dot CSS. You need to add uh, three things. One is uh, tailwind. You need a base and uh, tailwind components. Then tailwind. Tailwind utilities okay save the file now let's go back to um the command line just this a little more so that okay so in order to do this you need an uh dist file where uh, you can it will generate an output CSS file. The way um, Tailwind works is it takes input based on your change, it generates an output CSS file that is integrated with your HTML file. 
now let's create another folder called dist okay, dist the distribution okay um now let's type the command again it's a npm package manager execution npx tailwind css minus i that's input dot src slash input css minus o slash minus o paste dot slash test slash let's name it as a styles dot css if and if and watch so this watch command will basically will watch for any change so that it applies and regenerates the styles.css okay let's go ahead and create this it takes few seconds to kick in yeah so it built and uh, under this tidily you will see style start css yes voila so it's generated your tailwind css okay now let's create a new um last step that is what we want to do index.html under src okay. new file index.html so in this what we have to do we have to put the html code then you go here and say files this inside body h1 plus text example font bold underline okay Hey, welcome to tech nuggets or anything okay so that's it we have done the basic generation and basic html and we have linked with it let's see how do we run this uh, how to run and see in the output okay so how do we see this output um before we jump on that you need uh, there are two required plugins which you have to do um let's uh, i'll explain to you what we need there are two things okay one is a live server and um other one is tailwind css intelligence so if you see here this is for um, auto completion of some of the um, some of the class names and other one is live server these two are important things if you have these two plugins directly you can, your development will be easier okay let's go ahead and start with this let's start open with the live server and it's opening up yep congratulations you have done your first file you installed built and you ran your first html file with tailwind css see you on the further videos thank you